So System76 launched their new keyboard. Uh, that's cool. This is something that people at the company have been uh, teasing for a while. It's actually something that I saw a prototype of, like early, early prototype of back in 2019 when I went to visit them out in uh, Denver, Colorado, which is rad, rad city. It's been something that I've been pretty stoked to see uh, since I saw that prototype. And uh, wow, I I'm pretty impressed with what they come up with. Let's talk about it. This is the System76 launch keyboard. It's a free and open source keyboard. Uh, I could not be more excited for it. So by my count, there are 84 keys on this keyboard uh, in three different sizes. Every key is meant to be interchangeable, uh, which you know is part of the whole customizability of this device. The fact that they chose to only use three different sizes of keycaps uh, is a big deal here. For example, not counting the numpad uh, keys on here, there are 10 different sized keys on my craft keyboard from Logitech. Uh, here, there are three. And that's why some of the spacing on the uh, outside of the main keyboard uh, is the way it is, because they chose to use three different sizes uh, of keys rather than 10 or however many you need to actually make it a perfectly rectangular shape. You'll also notice that there are two space bars. That's because... You know, I don't use my left thumb to type. I only type uh, with my right thumb. And uh, so being able to like split the keyboard or the space bar up so that you can hit uh, backspace or anything with your left thumb, which I don't use for anything. Uh, that's that's really cool. Being able to like make your keyboard more useful. That's awesome. I think this is a fascinating design. Uh, it's a great compromise between a traditional QWERTY keyboard and a complete rethink of what a keyboard actually is. But this device isn't just hardware, it's also software. Uh, it's compatible with not just Linux, but Mac and Windows as well, which you know lets you configure your keyboard to your heart's content. Once your configuration is complete, it will actually save that uh, profile to the device. And when you plug it into different machines, it's gonna remember how you wanted it configured. That's super awesome. Now, I think the launch keyboard has a really great aesthetic here. I think it feels industrial while also feeling modern. The, the chassis is milled aluminum. It sports a custom PCB. Your choice of kale, uh, box jade or box royal uh, key switches, which, you know, it depends on your preferences here. So if you prefer a more tactile or a more clicky switch, it's up to you. It also has individually addressable RGB LEDs and multiple USB ports on the top of the device. And yes, there are two type A and three type C USB ports on the top of this device. I'm curious if any of the type C ports can be used to connect the device to the PC or if it's just the center one. Uh, there are some desktop setups that might uh, necessitate having the cable come out of the keyboard on the right or the left side of the keyboard. I, you, It'll be interesting to see how that all shakes out. But, uh, you know, once you have the device connected to your PC via a uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, this uh, USB hub actually can use the full USB Gen 2 speeds here, which is uh, pretty impressive. I also want to commend them on using like a good font here because a couple of the uh, System76 laptops I've reviewed over the last few years, I have not liked the the uh, gamery font, uh, the futuristic gamery font uh, on the keycaps. Uh, these keycaps look great to me. They look like keycaps should, in my opinion. That That font is great. Now, the launch keyboard also has a magnetic lift bar that functions similarly to how the you know, the fold out feet on other like traditional keyboards uh, would work to raise up, you know, at an angle. This is a pretty cool feature because I really like magnets. I'm just kind of a magnet nerd. I have a whole pack of them right here. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere around here. They also have multiple colors for the accent keys, which is pretty nifty. Personally, I'm partial to the brown. I think it looks like classic, but also kind of modern and I like that. The device even ships with a key puller uh, to just to emphasize how much they actually really do care about your customization of this device. One small concern that I have is that I use the numpad religiously. Uh, I use the numpad multiple times a day, you know, running a business and doing uh, spreadsheets and other such nonsense. Uh, I have to have my numpad. So it'll be weird to, to try this out without a numpad. I don't think I've ever used a, a, like a desktop keyboard without a numpad. I guess that's not true. I had a like a Mac with a magic keyboard that didn't have a 
a numpad, but we'll see. We'll see how this works out here. I prefer to have a numpad. How's that? But what's interesting is that uh, they actually promote this as a feature rather than a bug. So that's how you know this is made by some Linux nerds. Uh, this device was entirely manufactured in the United States, uh, in Denver, actually. Uh, probably not the key switches, but pr pretty much everything else is going to be made by uh, System76 at their facility, um, which their facility is pretty sweet. And finally, this entire thing, because System76 make it and they are like, an amazing like they're amazingly dedicated to open source the whole thing from the software to the hardware is open source it's available for you to download on their github page now admittedly this keyboard costs 285 dollars uh which seems high when you compare it to like cheap crap that you can get on uh, you know on amazon uh but when you actually sit down and think about how this thing was developed uh where it came from i mean it's it was engineered and manufactured in Denver, Colorado. There you go. That's all you need to know. Now, I haven't got my hands on it, but I'm going to guess that this thing is quality uh, made by a dedicated team of people who absolutely love what they do. Uh, and uh, I think that the price, when you factor in research and development costs and manufacturing in the United States, I think it's a good price. I'm so stoked for this device. I really want to get my hands on this keyboard and try it out. Uh, do you guys want to, do you guys want to try this keyboard? Let me know down in the comments. Do you want to see me do a review of this device if I get my hands on it? Uh, uh, I, I'm really, I'm really excited to, to see how this, uh, this plays out here. Um, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' take on this. Before I let you go, uh, I wanted to let you know that there are uh, there's a video that's exclusive to YouTube members and patrons. Uh, if you are a YouTube member, make sure you're, you're looking on the community tab on YouTube or you're looking in the feed on Patreon because that's where you're going to find uh, that exclusive video. I'm talking about the future of this channel, where I think we're going to be heading in the next you know year or so. Exclusive content just for patrons, just for YouTube members. Check it out. Now, I want to give a special shout out to Volker Dorge, one of my top tier Singularity members over on Patreon. If I said your name wrong, man, let me know. Uh, send me a DM. Uh, I'm going to try to, I want to get your name correct. I want to say thank you to everyone uh, on Patreon and all of my uh, YouTube members who make this show possible. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, it's because of my patrons and my uh, channel members that I have been able to do three videos a week. It's what I hope to continue to be able to do for you guys. So if you believe in the Work that I do and you want to see more videos like this, hit me up, uh, become a patron, uh, become a channel member. It all helps the show and it's all very much appreciated. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you in the next one.